this short video I will talk about chick heads. There are plenty of different types of chick heads, like this one, I would call it like a bow type, it has very very large footprint, so it means that it always will stay on the bottom just like that. Then there are mushroom type chick heads like semen and others, which are designed to be used in conjunction with floating lures. But still, even though there are plenty of other different shapes, the most popular and the one which anglers rely on is just simple round chick head. Even though it is working very good, in my opinion it has one very big flaw. I will try to demonstrate it. I have a lure here and I will put that lure onto the jig head. Just like that. And if you imagine when your lure hits the bottom, then the hook's point, as it, it's made out of metal, it's heavy, it will try to flip or tip the jig head towards the bottom in that kind of fashion. So your line will go from, from your rod to your jig's eye or jig head's eye and the hook will possibly will catch the line or will be tipping in the wrong way. So in my opinion when you are getting a bite and you're missing it that's the reason actually the hook is snagging onto the line or it's pointing the opposite way and the fish grabs the lure and does not hook itself. You want your lure to fall actually the opposite way, not towards the hook point but away from the angler, not towards the angler but away from the angler and that obviously means that the hook point will be exposed and uh, will be pointing the correct way and when the fish will grab the lure whilst it will be on the bottom it will hook itself most likely because the hook will be exposed and ready to prick. You know what, let's have a closer look at all what I just explained. I have a 5 gram jig head here. Let's imagine that my table is a lake or a river bottom and if I will try to make my lure or my jig head stand you will see that the jig head will always try to fall towards the line. So you can see it falls towards the line and then it like goes against the eye and it goes to the side. Let's try it a couple more times. It's always doing like that. I can try it with the lure as well. Obviously I will put it into the water a, a little bit later it will be much much easier to, to see. But even with the lure the chick head will always fall towards the hook's point. And that's the worst possible scenario because obviously the hook's point most likely will not hook the fish when the fish will grab it and there is a chance that the hook will get snagged around the line or something like that. That's a really really bad direction to fall. You always want that your lure would fall away from the line and would stand just like that. And obviously when the fish will want to grab the lure, the hook will be ready and hook the fish much much easier. Okay, so that's the problem with the round jig head. How to overcome this problem? I believe I came up with a very very good idea how to solve this issue just by adjusting the shape of the lead. And I actually tried it quite well already in real situation and I caught my personal best perch while doing it. Oh, that's a monster, that's a monster, that's a monster in the net, yes! Oh, wow, guys, <laughs> actually, I will have to raise this one because this is a monster, this is a monster. Right, and now let's make the alterations to the round jig head to perform it as we want to. So, how to make a round jig head to fall to the correct direction. And correct direction is away from the angler. Basically all you do is just to adjust the shape of the lead. 
by filing off some lead from this side from this side and then like join those two sides those two sides must be like at 90 degrees but then you join them by rounding the edge let's do it now all i will do will grab a file and make sure that i'm filing this side which is exactly the opposite to hook's point that will be enough for this demonstration and now as you can see my chig head can stand already probably i will have to even up a little bit yeah now it's great still even though our chick head can stand up we can't guarantee that it will fall towards the or away from the angler i, I should say so we want to take a little bit off the lead from this side okay that will be enough so now we have more or less 90 degree angle between this side and this side and now we want to round up just take off the sharp edge here Okay, so let's see, as you can see, the jig still stands up, but if I will try to push it to any other direction, it will not go there. But if I will try to push it away from the angler or just push that way, see it will fall nicely, even though it flipped like that, but once it will be in the water, it will stay just like that more or less. And that's perfect. As you just saw, I made alterations to the lead of the chick head to suit what I'm trying to achieve. And by doing so, my lead now is standing up for a little bit. And when I will introduce a small twitch with the rod, the lead will fall nicely and slowly and to the correct direction as well. Let's have a quick look at underwater tests when using this altered chick head versus simple round jig head. That's it for me guys, I hope you will find this video useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.